What up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Rant Room. And I am your host, Dante. And we are back with another video. And as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in yet again. Your support keeps me and this channel going. So make sure y'all do me a solid and subscribe for more content and to keep this channel growing. You guys are freaking awesome. Episode two of the day. So it all starts off with this tweet. Um, talking about resident evil for a remake like i said in a previous video i do think personally that the game does look crisp it does look fun and i actually might end up picking up the game or i might just end up playing the old game who knows we'll see but either way the biggest controversy with the game so far is the fact that people don't like the fact that ashley has been censored any kind of intimate conversation between Ashley and Leon and Ashley and, and other characters has basically been wiped away clean for the most part from what I'm hearing by the way from the remake of this game and of course fans are not thrilled about that right so here's the list of things that have been removed or supposedly you can check that out on your own time but it all leads to this guy right here now why is this important this guy supposedly according to his account has worked for epic games platinum games capcom so um this guy might have a lot of pull uh not an excuse for you guys to go harass him please do not do that he is entitled to his opinion though i believe his opinions are quite stupid but he is entitled to them either way right so he goes on to sell oh, maybe right back here so he goes on to basically go against the fan service portion of video games he goes off with by saying this i worked in japan i worked on games that had content like this he's referencing the uh sent uh the uh you know spiciness within video games right content like this never needed to be in any of these games if your goal is to titulate there are better ways than juvenile abuse of the <laughs> here it goes the male gays Gosh, he's a guy. <laughs> he must be a white knight. Um, this is why I hated 2B design. It encourages this bullshit. And there's more. There is more. This guy doesn't stop. And of course, you guys already know, people are going after this guy in the comment section on Twitter. Let's continue. Make sure y'all do me a favor and subscribe for more content. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship in anime, manga, and gaming. So let's get this page to 2K subscribers, guys. We are climbing slowly but surely. Make sure you drop a like or a dislike if you enjoy my videos. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, drop a comment to engage in conversation and share this video. You guys are freaking awesome. Make sure you comment, by the way, because <laughs> it's going to get interesting. Let's continue, all right? So it goes on to say, the idea... Now, upskirt shots are an aspect of the character. It's an absolute joke. If anything, it is more like the aspect of the character of the morons posting this. And I am not just saying this now. I try very hard to get the wonder pink upskirt shot cut from 101, but failed. Now, he's talking about 2B from uh, the Nier series, right? However, thanks to our good pal uh, Haru, <laughs> who screenshotted this, the same thing. Harold goes on to say, by the way, LMAO, LMAO, this guy is, is gonna be surprised how many women are into fan service, which is, by the way, a lot. Do you mind how many girls love fan service? They love fan service and they enjoy cosplaying um, highly spicy, sexualized female characters from anime, manga, and gaming. I don't think people understand uh, <laughs> how much girls, they may not fond over it like the guys do, but girls really do enjoy fan service. But I think some guys forget that. So let's see. He's talking about uh, Nier series, and it says this. Nier uh, sold 7 million units. First released in spring 2017. Nier is an action role-playing game by the developer Platinum Games, which, by the way, this guy worked for. Remember, this is important. <laughs> this guy has pull. Um, and published by Square Enix as of November 2022. Lifetime sales of this critically acclaimed title amounted to 7 million units with a switch port on announced for later that year <laughs> so yeah despite his disdain for fan service it seems like it helped sell these games fan service sells sex appeal sells how many times you gotta say this fam how many times 
<laughs> you gotta say this. And people don't learn like this white knight here. Anyway, we're gonna continue to the part that really <laughs> pissed me off, okay? And I'm not saying this to be prudish, all the while being prudish. If you're into that stuff, awesome, go for it. But do it with consent, with consenting adults. So he's basically telling you to gain consent from characters within the game to to, to gain, to, he wants you to gain consent from the characters within the game to gaze upon them with your evil male gaze. <laughs> you have got to be kidding. Uh, in games, mediating the idea of agency slash consent is very difficult, and just because you can make the distinction doesn't mean everyone else can. So, he wants you to get consent from Ada Wong. He wants you to get some consent from Samus, Chun Li, <laughs> Sheva, before you gaze upon them with your evil male gaze. <laughs> Bruh. Does he not understand that these characters are not real? The, they are fictional. <laughs> what is going on? Guys, we are definitely living in clown world right now. It's, it's so, see some comments. I asked to be, she was okay with being hot, and she said yes. Hope this helps. How do you get consent from video game characters? You like fan service, that's fine, but make sure you get consent. <laughs> Get it with consent. In games that includes agency, unless there's a new artificial intelligence people aren't aware of. What agency? What are we even talking about? <laughs> How can inanimate objects consent? Also, someone can't make distinction with facial stuff. So that's a skill issue. Facts. Yeah, I mean, if you can't tell the difference between reality and fiction to the point where you wanted to gain consent from things that never existed in reality, sir, you actually might have some mental issues. You're living in this weird delusion that fictional characters need to be protected by you social justice, fictional female social <laughs> activists, whatever you want to call them. It's insanity bro it's insanity why the f should one care of the agency of a fictional character uh <laughs> this is generally an insane take what do you even mean by this? the player doesn't want to look up the script they don't have to if they don't want to play the game to try to people they don't ha have to buy it i'm trying to imagine dancing warriors type game where you have to ask consent before slicing everyone's <laughs> head off <laughs> oh sheesh so yeah, you can see people were roasting him in the comments. How do fictional char game characters give consent, my dude? I can do whatever I want with them, no permission needed. Facts. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, he, everything else, I'm like, all right, you're talking that BS, um, whatever. And then you went to, you must get permission from the fictional characters. <laughs> what? <laughs> What are you even talking about, my guy? Listen, stay off the internet. Um, whatever you was drinking or smoking before you made that comment, put that stuff down. It's it's ruining your mindset. It's, it's, it's jacking up your brains. Anyway, um, what do y'all think about this? <laughs> uh, you know my thoughts. I'm over this, man. Social social media is just something else, guys. I I kid you not. Anywho. That's all I got for this episode. Let me th know your thoughts in the comments section. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this in Nerdy Geek Culture. Not an excuse to go and go to this guy's profile and start harassing. Don't do that, okay? I'm sure the comment section already right now has let him know about himself, so let it go. I mean, you can, I mean, you can be respectful, just don't be a douche, okay? Um, <laughs> yikes. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.